Tonight, Tori Amos talks openly about the pain of her loss. The first time um, I miscarried, I was in the first trimester near the end, and um, I was at the beach, and something didn't feel right, and I realized that I had started to bleed, and so I called the doctor. He had me come in. They do the scan. And I looked up at the nurse, and she had tears in her eyes. And she said, I'm so sorry. It's all very thief in the night stuff, because you go into an emergency room or whatever, and you walk in thinking that you're an ecosystem and you walk out completely barren and empty. The physical impact got tougher with each miscarriage so that by the third, I think I was at my physical breaking point. You know, you get revved up and then the crash and then the emptiness. There's no coffin. There's no outward symbology. There's no kind of ritual. There's just you and your partner it's not necessarily a reality for anybody else very few people know how to respond to it there's not a lot of awareness on it it's that taboo kind of thing and nobody wants it to happen to them so it's kind of like you've got the plague like can, can you catch it if you said to me is there anything positive about all that I think it's made me appreciate life and it knocks you for six, but if you choose the wisdom out of the wound, then there is healing and there is a light at the end of the tunnel. But you don't see it when you're in the trenches. I mean, you know, there is a dark night of the soul and you have to walk that. Although I wasn't able to bring them to physical life, I was able to bring them into song form and their songs that are written about them that I play even now then you turn around death into some kind of expression of life she's afraid of a Tomorrow, 5 to 8, goalkeeper Nigel Martin talks about his wife's miscarriage. And if you're trying to deal with a miscarriage problem yourself, there's a Channel 4 recorded information line on 0800 915 04.